Try not to laugh to this Cracker Milk podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Cracker Milk Podcast. If you want to catch the full episode, it's actually 10 to 30 minutes long. You can catch that bad boy on our Patreon. I say this every time. It's as little as $2. And guess what? Not only do we do that, we are releasing exclusive Patreon skits that are too rude or too silly for Naughty. YouTube every mm. single week. So as little as 2 bucks, you get an extra fucking 30 minutes on our podcast, all the behind the scenes that we upload, and, of course, an extra skit every week. We're super Keen, and all this gets released to Patreon are the ones that make us cry laugh because it's the decrepit, messed up humor that we can't really give to the world. I am joined again with Tamara McLaughlin, Goob, Christopher, and Elias DeWedger. I uh, am your host, Connor McDuff, and we've got another little chitty chat episode. I want to oh. clarify, we need to address the elephant in the room. Good morning. No, not you. What's the elephant uh. in the room? <laughs> um, the Warhammer competition has not begun yet. There is no, no, yes. no competition for Denim I haven't cut-offs, invented it yet. But we are yeah. going to do it. It has to be done by October because you're going away to Europe in November. In November yeah. Well, we so have to work out the T's and C's. Like, I think we need a written contract. One, of these, need to be one of these dumb and cunts. we do the colour thing. Yeah, yeah, one of these dumb are going to be in denim like cutoffs, and that's all that matters to me every day. And I really want it to be Elias because I want to see him walk in, sigh heavily, and then take his pants off to put on cutoffs. And I reckon it affects his No, mood. I thought you said they have to come in. No, no, no. no, the, no it's no, work no. cutoffs. It's work cutoffs. So that makes like, it so much better that he has to walk in, uniform. take his pants off, put on the cutoffs. Yeah, but you're acting like he doesn't already do that. <laughs> he does sometimes to be a silly <laughs> what he's wearing. He didn't have to wear this. Yeah, what's with the outfit? <laughs> what outfit? Fair enough. This is just what I... Guys, I my up God. Like this. some <laughs> other fucking news for you that we're here. Tamara is now working three days a week, which is, I mean, uh, for Tamara is full time. I'm a slave. But basically we're getting her in instead of one day a week for acting. Tamara is now a permanent part of the production process. Wee. Uh Chris, Emily, and Nick are cast for context. Everyone comes in as cast and everyone collaborates. But when it comes to production, it's really just me, Elias, and Goop. So now we've got Tam to save my life because I need it. <laughs> I'm Juicara. Juicara. Well, you're done now. You're not breastfeeding anymore. I'm no, I'm not. You can get back on the meth, baby. Uh, meth? Oh, yeah, sounds get horrible. On that what fucking are you talking methamphetamine, about? dude. Get some meth in you. Pump it up and don't breastfeed now because you'll wreck your kids if you give them that drug milk. Unless it's what a party are you trick. Talking about? I'm saying you can do drugs now. Like legally? No. <laughs> but if you, you can. If you, yeah, if you were to like say take some kind of like just a fuckload of drugs or something like heroin and then you, you, like milk it out into a bottle. Yes, there's heroin in the there's milk. Her- there's traces. You could sell that, right? Like no, that would mate. be like. I mean, I mean, that's drugs. No. that you'd be selling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, there's a you've market just for that. Gone, probably. No, bro, you've, like you've just done it. drug dealing with extra steps. Why wouldn't you just put the you heroin in the cheese. fucking milk? You wouldn't need her to do the heroin to breast milk. But it. it's like a kid. I'm not saying tomorrow to do no, it. I'm just saying in general, breast milk, heroin, breast milk would be a premium. That's a yeah. premium product. It's like pre- it's like you can you can make more. Yeah, cheese. So yeah, heroin soap. Isn't it? Isn't it like breast milk is like we love sweet stuff so much because it's what breast milk's like. Yeah, it's like really, it kind of really tastes sweet. like... Um, Condensed milk. Like uh, cereal milk. You know, like if you had like a bowl of Fruit mm-hmm. Loops yeah, and then you ate yeah. all the Fruit Loops that's and then sick. you drank the milk, and that's what you're drinking essentially. That's um, pretty sick. You, are you going to become a little so you can get breast milk? Yeah. Thought so. Um, I actually <laughs> knew two really gross aliens that were a couple and um, they would uh, drink condensed milk by the can. Yeah, that's so mean? weird, dude. Yeah, was it you? Literally crack open no, this per- the, the, full the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> him. Dude, him and his ex girlfriend. Although, to be fair, you I saw your ex girlfriend skull it. I saw you sip it. I don't doubt that you fucking hoffed it down, but I saw your ex, <sighs> a tiny woman, Pinky up. fucking hoff down a can of condensed milk and be like, yeah, it's a fun snack. I'm like, that is not a snack. That is a. Well, Vietnamese iced coffee is like full of the condensed, drip. Milk. Full yeah. condensed milk. Yeah. Isn't condensed milk like. A cooking ingredient? Yeah, dude. It's really, yeah, really sweet. Yeah, if you leave a can of condensed milk in boiling water for like mm, like simmering water for like four hours, you get caramel. Well, and also yeah. like the whole mm-hmm. point is like when – when Oh, you drink caramel. When our parents you're were drinking, young – Which like, is worse when than you, you could drink. It's, it's so, so thick sweet and caramel. And it, it What's syrup? It tastes like – Melted white chocolate. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it's delicious. It's like it's, it's insane. Wild. That can't be but, good but for I, you. It's not. When good. I was a kid, when <laughs> I was a kid, not. I wanted it's milk, good. and my mum had a chew with condensed milk. I didn't know what it was. And I was like, "What's this?" I need. I wanted milk. I was a child. I squeezed a little bit and ate it, and it was so delicious and sweet. My brain wanted to eat more of it, but it was so good that my brain went. I know I'm going to get fucking in trouble. Like, that's so sweet. Mm. I shouldn't eat all that. That's going to be – mum will scream at me. That's really bad for me. Mm. So I was like – I was like 
punishing myself. I'd sneak in and I'd get like a little, like this. And then I went to mom and mom, can I, if I have that condensed milk, will I get in trouble? And she's like, yeah, you can't do that. Have you had some? And she went, and I went, no, nah, just a little bit. She went, oh, that's funny. I thought you'd eat it all because I used to get it by the tube and sit there in front of the Why TV. Why would she tell you that? And I went, why would you fucking tell? I never had it because it was too sweet. But like as a kid, that's what they'd eat on a farm. Like farm kids get a big fucking chicken. No, but you, but you weren't allowed to eat it unless it was your mom floor. like squirted yeah. it on the floor first. The way you're squirting it, up. I thought he was going to put it on floor. a toothbrush or Dude, something. Dude, I fucking, I only ever ate ham off the floor. Allegedly. And, no, I did. Only I know, allegedly only, only ham. ham. I'm finding out new things every week. Like ham was the most thing. That ham was the most bug like. Like it's I could the opposite. eat. It's processed. It's throw it on the floor. I can eat that shit up. Tastes like chicken, as I would say, even though it was ham, <laughs> because that's what they say in Lion King about the bugs. Because oh, I wanted to be this... like Timon and Pumbaa, yeah. so I ate ham off the floor. That's like once I, when I was a kid, because of the Jungle Book, and they ate all the ants. I went down to yeah, like where the ants. ants' nest yeah. was, like underneath the clothesline when I, I was a ants. kid, and I let them crawl up my arm, and then and I started. Licked it. Licked Licked it, and then they started biting, and then I learnt my lesson. Did was I it ever green eat ants, ants or black again? ants? They're black ants. I remember saying to someone like, "Yeah, you can oh eat ants. God. They're gross. Like they taste bad." And they someone do. at school was like, "You won't. You wouldn't eat an ant." I was in primary school. Was sitting around I'm like, "Yeah, you can just you put them in I your did. mouth." And he's like, "Do it, do it." I'm like, "Okay." They taste grab, funny. I, they taste bad. They taste like what they smell like. Yeah, you're yeah. eating a fucking bug. And then yeah. I put it in my mouth, like a tiny ant. Put it in my mouth. I went, See, there you go. got like chocolate covered crickets and stuff. But you could also eat like dirt if you wanted to. Yeah, well, people crave dirt. When you're pregnant, you have these cr- cravings. Like a common one is dirt. Oh. How the fuck do you okay. crave something you've never had? <laughs> I don't know. Is it Like when, when my mum was pregnant with me, she craved that earthy taste. So she used to eat raw potato for the starchy. Oh, okay, for like the dirt and soil oh. in it. Well, no, mm, she'd yeah. wash it but like bite into what it. What was like the apple. weirdest thing you had when you were pregnant? I was addicted to mints. Oh, like I um, thought you were going to say, say meth. meth yeah. Yeah. Were you really addicted to mints? <laughs> like I, yeah, like the mint, fl- but like, like the specific mints? kind, the kind that tastes like the gavascon, like you that, went hard that in the, um, musky mint. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you went hard in the double cheeses. Oh, did I ever? And then, and then Nick <laughs> sent me a message in all caps one day that was like screaming at me about where the best sushi place was. She's like, I fucking need it. And oh, I was laughing, being like, ha, 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 it's here. I'm sorry, it's closed. And then like I spoke to her about it. She's like, I wasn't fucking joking. You were pissing me off. So it wasn't fine. No, I wanted to not have sushi. Insane. I thought that was the one thing. You're not allowed to have raw fish. Raw, raw fish. You can have sushi. Raw yeah. anything. But you, you know, can like have chicken, like cooked chicken one. Or... Yeah. But Fuck that. Talking I took, about you, you, sorry to interrupt this. I do have to say this as well. Goo is now trying new food and we took him the sushi and I gave him some. I was like, you got to try this. This is what, what I did. Sushi well, train. I train. First time robot. It's, so, yeah, dude. First <laughs> time it's sushi train. Take him to sushi train. First time he's like, wow, what the fuck? I was like taking a little kid. We take him and I'm like, I get double a burrito because I love sushi. And I'm like, try this. And it's like actual fun sushi. Yeah. And I can see he's never had it before. And he takes a bite without complaint. And he goes, that's really fucking good. And my mm. I, my face lit up because I'm like, I know this man with food is like, nah, I'm not fucking eating shit I don't want. And he ate it and he's like, that's really good. And I was like, yes. Yeah. He's beginning to believe. Fucking, this yeah, is what people talk about. So good. Anyway, what were I you saying? Uh, I was going to say, going back gotcha. to, the, to the ants, like eating ants and stuff. Um, um, a topic, a common crack and milk topic, eating ants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, like, there, I'm pretty sure there is a, an ant. Well, it's a honey ant. Honey they, ant. Like, they, they oh, have you their can eat their ass. It's, like, yeah. full yeah. of fucking yeah. honey. It's, like, it? transparent and stuff. And if you feed them, like, uh, like food coloring and stuff. Heroin. And that, like, with the honey, it'll change colors and stuff. Smuggle but they, there's a few way. other ants like that where they have, like, a thorax that's full of, like, a uh, like sugar ants and stuff that mm. you can eat. But um, I don't want to go into my ant expertise. I Shout out to Ants should. Canada for doing Ant facts. Ant facts. AC family. Yeah, so we go to the sushi place and there's a fu- – when you order stuff that's not on the train – they walk out and deliver it to mm-hmm. your table, mm-hmm. but now they have a robot and Goob's sitting there oh, and what? like Here? like a true chimp, you hear bah, 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 and it's the robot just driving I past hate it, dude. and it's just like a smile on the front of it like this. I fucking hate and it. And Goob's like, what the what fuck? Kind of what the robot? fuck's that? Like an R2-D2 thing. <gasps> so it's got like a tray in it. So like it dries. What, and does it keep it amazing. warm? No. No, no. It's just like they're it in the kitchen. It just doesn't have to pay it. They're like in the you kitchen and you go, yeah, you just don't pay them. But you got to charge it, and mm. so that's extra bill on your electric so bill. So true. AI's but you don't have everything. to pay, like, normal work and costs for, like, a human. Sunday rates. Yeah, no yeah, Sunday rates. Penalty rates. <laughs> <laughs> it, it plays music, which I hated. Yeah, what it was it? It, it plays like, music as it's driving to tell like people to get out of the way. Japanese fucking yeah. cutesy music. My, my favourite thing at Sushi Train places, there's two things that I love. One is the grilled salmon hand roll. It's like a, a like a little triangle seaweed thing. Do not need to explain like, that. Fucking good. Other thing, 
um, crispy salmon skin. I don't know if you guys have had crispy salmon skin. Like you can just just order the skin and it's like deep fried and shit. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> you go to a sushi place to get <laughs> fish, skin? fish skin. Dude, I mean, I would eat it. I'd eat it's it. Fucking incredible. That like, yield. My favorite. Cool. My favorite place. Did you try it? My oh. favorite thing is the sushi train is the it's Shinkansen expensive. bullet train they've got. So they they've tried to adapt a more Japanese style. So the sushi train goes at two hundred and fifty kilometers oh. an hour. <laughs> There's little um, people who doesn't make a sound. It's magnetic and it just spins around really quick. And they bow as it land as it as it stops, which they do on the train, which I found absurd. Really efficient, but yeah, it really shatters your hand when you go for that that sushi. <laughs> yeah. We actually had that as a skit, and I don't know how to make it. Good. Yeah. So, what else is going on in the world that that we've kept up with? Um, Marvel Legends. Yeah, I've collected pretty much every X Men figure now <laughs> that I need. I need before the PO box. I got need open. Rogue. And then I'm done. As if anyone was going to send anything. They Someone scolded shit. me, and I'm going to fucking bring him up. Ian Bright, a our, our very con- consistent, committed Patreon. You little rat bastard calling me out saying, I told you that people would send you things. I told you that when, when I said that, when I signed up. You're right, Ian, but it still doesn't make it okay. What are you talking about? Ian, Ian's a guy on Patreon who's told gave me oh, a fair warning, and, and I was and like, "People are going to dox you." People who were mean to me because I you got me. And you read the comments. I read <laughs> the comments. Did you like that you have fans? Did you like that you've got some yeah, fans oh, in there? Yeah. Someone someone wrote like on the Patreon um, skit that we did with the um, yeah the, Civil War the Civil War Fukin, um, and someone wrote, "Oh, good one putting tomorrow half naked for stats," and then someone wrote underneath. Yes, she does have fans, and we won't be silenced. Yeah. And I thought that was so funny. <laughs> says in a so yeah. patronizing. Yeah. I laughed my ass off. They know your, your fans. I'm gonna print that off. Your fans know you well, dude. Put it on a t-shirt. Well, I want to get. I want to get you as the bird on Ow. the t-shirt. Oh, that okay. He is. Yeah. Just so you know, the well, listeners I, don't know. Voice. Yeah. The listeners don't oh. know that you just need yourself in the moot. That's all right. I've got two of them. Sorry? Two moots? You got two moots. One's a cloaca, dude. What the? <laughs> Sorry, Jeff, Yeah, you don't have a vagina. You're right, you have you're a right I'll use the terminology. <laughs> one is a moot, one, one is a cloaca. cloaca. Did you hear about the fucking, the pages exploding in Lebanon? Yeah, that's fucking wild. 5,000 pages just blow up randomly. Imagine if they did it to Apple. And they're like, oh, it was Israel. Israel I, did it. I'll tell you who fucking did bullshit. it. It's all tech, guys. It's all tech. <laughs> guys, I have an idea. I, I oh, think damn. now is the time that we get our Neuralink chips. You can. What if they, like, if we get them now before they get built in chips to explode, you, like, we need you, to get them, like, you earlier, can do it. so then we can, like, dude, don't I would, I would explode. absolutely fund you getting Neuralink. Fuck that. Bro. I would love I'm it. Not getting that he, shit. He comes bro. in. I would p- pump viruses through it. Oh, dude. Oh, 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 so yeah, much my porn. My I'd, be, my I'd be, like, pumping porn at him all the time, sitting there, like, on my phone, being like, oh, check this out. And because it's in his fucking head, imagine a video popping up that you can't avoid. Oh, ads. Oh, that's scary. The, the idea that, like, the yeah, idea that, like, yeah. hey, we're going to make this tech and it's going to allow the next step of human evolution. Also, if you pay premium for that tech, you won't get advertisements mm. in your head. Oh. I already get advertisements in my head. And a catchy adver- jingle will get me every time. Every time. A jazzy little number. Dude, the, I, the I know adver- that you've joined and, like, it's clear that you're going to make be a permanent member, but you've got to stop doing that shit or it's going to be short-lived, okay? Yeah, so no, stop that stop and stop that. smiling stop when you do one. it. Yeah. You got If I see that shoulder popping too much, you know what happens. Tomorrow. I can't help it. I know you can't help Tomorrow. it. Tomorrow. you got to get fucking dealt with. Please. Every no. time is... Please. Don't dob on me. Tomorrow, please. It's it's getting... It's, it's getting, getting out of hand. It's what is if it was just the one shot or just the righty? The that's, righty, that's the okay. righty was not so tidy. If okay. you know what I'm saying. Not that see, way. see, see. The problem is the Forward. problem. Forward. So you're yeah. hand. You're rolling. Hand. Yeah, the limp hand along with the wrong <laughs> shoulder. It's not that it's one at a time. It's that you do that. Hey, so- fellas. No, oh. none of that. Sorry, I don't know. That was shit. Yeah. I'm you're, you're, a, you're a hot babe woman. You have to oh. act like it. Also, Tamara, imagine stop. That was so hot. That's the sort of thing that puts penises in bodies. Stop that. Their oh, own the penises bodies? in their own bodies. Oh, like like retract. Retract. oh yeah. I thought you meant in my body. Tamara, stop. Sorry. Stop that. Stop that. The Sorry. last time you had sex oh. was when there were when, when there was a blue moon. You know that phrase, once in a blue moon? That was Which, the last time you had sex. Speaking happens of, usually one did to you two see the super moon last really? night? Yeah. Yeah, but I, like my partner goes. blue moon is it two full moons in a month. Yeah, that is what it's a, a blue moon is. Moon. Is it blue? No. No. It's just. It's always like. The moon is blue. It like blew its load. 
Oh, um, now you got me paranoid about my T Rexes. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it. We're all autistic here. Um, if you watch enough videos, guys, you'll see autism ones at the start. If you wonder, like, what, like, people see me and they, I always fucking hate when people meet me and they, they, I can tell that I'm shorter than they expected. And they're always like, I can tell that oh, they, what? Five, six. it really puts them <laughs> off. And I hate because I have this sometimes when I'm walking around, I get my little autism arms and I fucking hate them. I'm too little for it. I got two little arms. I don't like it. It's because um, you tuck them. I do tuck them and right, I say, you need some lats. and I say, T Rex, T Rex, raw, raw. See, I've trained myself to keep elbows in because I used to lead heavily with my elbows. Yeah. And oh. in hospitality, I'd knock shit over. And yeah. I'm... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I was talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, I just wanted to I, say, I, I want to no, no, say something. Yeah, but I, before we change no, the subject, no, it's a good oh, one. Stuff. Before I wanted to talk about the Neuralink stuff I was trying to talk about before. You know, uh, you know what? This is the sort of thing that when we're going to couples therapy, we need to bring up. Because yeah. when we're on couples therapy, it's all about our sex life. All you want to talk about is how I won't let you top. You, you're never allowed to top, and that I finish too. You're early. the better bottom. Yeah, I'm I feel not like the better ass. Ass. A top. I'm yeah. the better. Sure. I'm the better lover. Is what I am. No. The problem with you being a top, and you know the problem, <laughs> no. is that you're too angry. You're too strong. We used to have a word for your type of strength, and now we can't use that word. So we say silly strength. You've got really <laughs> silly strength. <laughs> That's it. And so you grit. Strength. When you're on top, he gets Stars too power. He gets too powerful, and he gets too strong <laughs> and excited. And he, before I know it, I he's bruising me up. So next time we're in couples therapy, we talk about the arguing. Yeah. Well, what you really need is some. Um, but also some nitrate. Mm. Speaking of like the the Neuralink shit, imagine fucking getting <laughs> Neuralink, and you get ads when you sleep. That's what a, if it that's wakes in, um, you up? That's in the film with wait. Nicolas Cage. That's that's Ghost Rider. What film? Elias. Go, it's in Ghost Rider. Did you really wait that long? And hold that Yeah, I was trying to long. fucking talk about it, but I couldn't talk. But maybe there was a reason we missed <laughs> on. We could read it through Neuralink, what you were going to say. You guys have Neuralink? Yeah. Dude, imagine imagine the amount the, of... The, pr- the blasty kind. Imagine the amount of private porn this man would watch if he had Neuralink going on. I would. Actually, no, like sorry, this. to clarify to everyone listening, <laughs> he's not that sort of guy. What he would be doing is it would be minis. Lord of the Rings minis all day. He would yeah. be scrolling that stuff. I, I literally <laughs> I literally get the time I catch, whenever I catch a light's not working, he's looking at Lord of the Rings minis. <laughs> it's not anything else. It's only Lord of the Rings. I go, what are you doing? Just looking at stuff in my tournament uh, tomorrow. It's just tomorrow. Just watching porn. Yeah, that's what it feels like. <laughs> Just watching porn. Close all of my minis. Tabs. Now, I want to talk about something with you. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, what's this? What's this fucking sighing and shit you're doing over there in the corner, blonde? My partner's mum is going on a European oh. adventure and she wants to wear some of the merch over there. And I said, don't. Don't. <laughs> You'll don't. be a constant But isn't it like, because in, in Europe, everyone's pretty well dressed, right? Except in So like- you're saying our merch isn't. Attractive enough for your European this content. Is, this is it's the casual multiple, European outfit. That multiple I of wear. my friends have been like, "Got your merch," and the shots of them in their merch is working out. And yeah. I don't appreciate that. Speaking of which, Lonely Kids Club and Cracker Milk have joined forces to create our favorite merch when yet. To become one. Now, if you want to fucking get the merch, it's going yeah, to be in our description. Normally, we're wearing it. By the time this is out, we've dropped the video that comes out tomorrow oh. so it's all happening and it's all going to be exciting but check it out and wear it we fucking love the merch and this is the first time we've done merch where it feels like it's going to be a long-term relationship with the company and it feels like it's going to be really good and they're really awesome it just feels good they're awesome people they print them properly and we're not working with like fucking some big stupid rip-off company that just go give us your money we print them on shitty shirts any other youtuber that you're buying shirts from off like teespring or bonfire or whatever and you feel like the quality is really bad it's because it is and the reason we stopped selling merch is because the quality was so bad on the prints and they were so inconsistent on all these drop shipping sites we stopped but these guys hand print the the shirts that they print on are shirts we all buy to wear because they're so high quality so all of the branding and stuff is australian which is cool because it smells like gum gum leaves if you're american yeah, but it's really, really good for sinuses. Yeah, yeah. So fucking order it. Get it on the link to below. It's really fun merch. I fucking love it. I love all the merch. Genuinely fucking, love it it's all. It's really, really good. There's some yeah. really crack milk orientated stuff and some more like stuff that's a reference but also worn if you like more quippy shit. You know, maybe mm. if maybe you got someone in your family. You're a Discord mod. Yeah, if you're a Discord mod. My favorite is the um the that one one. The big one. Yeah, the yeah, big, the you like the big one the most? I like the big one the most. Like the one the most. Uh, my, mine's the pocket one. The pocket one is good because it's cash, but I like the big one. The big one's really cool. I sent out a bunch of the shirts to some influencers and stuff, and um, that'll be cool. I noticed they I didn't th- receive any. They you, just threw you them in literally the got a fucking. Okay, okay. You got a you got a version of every shirt. All right, all right, all right, all right. For free. It yeah. Cost me like a thousand dollars actually to get everyone their merch. 
So did, like did maybe they... don't complain. Okay. What are you doing there with your face? That's just how I look. Don't do that. Okay. Another thing we're going to stop you doing at Cracker Milk, that. I use them all mine for cum rags. Or Excuse my me, my milk face. Perch. What? I was thinking oh. of a. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, sorry, whoa, whoa, To clarify, use everything as a cum rag. It was just that that's the only thing left that's not uh, hard as cardboard. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking of a, n- a shirt in the future where it's uh, one of us, like our heads and our legs, and there's all these buttons, and you unbutton, it's like a centerfold in a porno mag. That's hilarious. You also, you also <laughs> had a shirt that was like, I survived 9 11, and all I got was tuberculosis, uh, lung cancer. And then it's like this heavy and list, heavy list, list. Oh of gosh. like all these horrible things that you've got. And then at the bottom, and this shirt. Yeah. And so I'm like, funny. that's a really funny one, but maybe not, I survived 9 11. That's probably too, no. too. Um, yeah, don't don't make jokes about 9 11. We get no, we're getting, guys, to. we're getting a lot of trouble, by the way. 9 11 was last week. Dude, we we're, we're getting fucking yeah. like suddenly out of nowhere, people are going like, you guys have taken it too far. You've made too many 9 11 jokes. And I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> yes. We know. Well, marathon jokes are hard to make. So. We can't yeah, it's hard to make jokes about the Boston Marathon. Yeah. Mm. And also, like, we make fun of tons of tragedies. It's just that that for some reason. There's a lot of humor to be made in it, okay? I don't want to be... We, we make Hitler jokes, make fun of them. The Hitlers of, they, they, we the, Hitlers of the world. They deserve that one. Make fun of, Hit, we make fun of Hitler jokes. We've done Diana. Oh, but that we did, a lot. We did, yeah. that we did of, Madeline yeah. McCann. Well, we did Madeline <laughs> McCann jokes. So let's just relax, guys. We are just bad people making jokes just, at the expenses just, just trying to of people suffering, <laughs> okay? And I'm going to say this about the 9-11 jokes. I, from the bottom of my heart, didn't fly those planes into those buildings. Stop acting like I did. Thank you. Are you sure? We found your ID. Like, <laughs> Yeah, did you it. find my passport perfectly intact? Yeah, actually. Huh. Think about that. But also, like, I don't believe in <laughs> it. I used to be so full on 9-11 conspiracy theorists and then, like, my, crit- my critical... No. Shut up about that! <laughs> Shut up about that in my past! But then I did a lot of research and my critical thinking increased and I went, I actually just think it was, like, I think it was just a bit silly. Yeah. Like it was a bit mm. silly. I don't think it should I think I think it shouldn't have happened. I know that's controversial. Mm. Uh-huh. I, if we could do taxis backsies, like Yeah, oh God. I don't know why the president didn't make that taxis decision backsies, to go taxis yeah. backsies. All right, we're gonna move off but before before we improv purely on 9-11, which happens all the time. Mm. We make non violent non nine eleven jokes and but like I feel like we're stopping. We're, we're we're pumping the brakes on that. So if you've got an issue with those sort Unlike of jokes, those planes did <laughs> Um, I saw a photo of who's the stand-up guy you like? Bigger guy. <laughs> oh, quick, <laughs> quick! Oh, Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis, and yep. it was him with this girl, and there was like a photo of them together. Yeah, yeah, and he's, he's like, like girls a are big ten dude, out of ten. And she's bag, like yeah. a ten out of ten. And it was like this is giving men hope, and I'm like, do you think it's maybe the money? Yeah, like the incredible the amount of talent and money. And money Does he and not fame. have a good personality? No, no, he's, he's just like he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a yeah. fat bro dude. He's a big dude that drinks. He's not. I think he's losing a lot of weight. You can't lose because the down syndrome. And I, I've got to say, honest. I've always got to say a positive thing about Shane because if I meet him, I and he tries to scrub. And he's been watching your content. Yeah, he's like, Yo, what I'm if he's pro nine eleven, dude? <laughs> What do you mean pro 9-11? Like the good guys. Like he's pro the good guys. Well, we're about to find out who the bad guys all are. Well. Aren't we? Anyway. Can we move on from 9-11? Yeah, I don't know mm. how we go back. Have you done any Dutch silly tradition. things lately that we get to talk about? Any silly things? Uh, any fun things that we get to... Not many related. Because we... Have we told oh. the mouse... <laughs> have we told the mouse story? What mouse story? I feel like we have, but we can talk about it. The I love that story, dude. Um, so when I was uh, a young little boy... Oh. Um, what? I just remembered the mouse story. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. When I, when I was a young little boy, me and my brother had pet mice, um, and we would, like, <laughs> You're play playing with, with them on the bed. Playing with them on the bed. We'd like, play with them everywhere and stuff, and you know. And um, <laughs> The mumbling tells the guilt. Uh, so I just feel like this is taking me back the, to the guide of meditation. I'm like, yep, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get, get. One of the important parts of the story you miss all the time is you're playing separately with the mice. What do you mean? What does that mean? Because... Because you well, both were both sitting, sitting on the bed. But you were, we're playing, playing like separately. Elias was playing with his mouse and his brother yeah. was playing with his brother's his, his, mouse. Oh, it's an nice. important part of the story. And so I was like playing with my mouse and then... Um, <laughs> what and was your mouse's name? I don't remember the name of my mouse. I remember the name of my brother's mouse. <laughs> he remembers his brother's uh, mouse well. Um, what and my brother, happening? my brother was like, oh, where's, where's Speedy? <laughs> Speedy was the name of... His mouse? His, his mouse, yeah. 
And I was like, oh, I don't know. I've just been playing with my mouse. And then we were like looking around everywhere. We couldn't really, couldn't, couldn't see him anywhere. And then we like both stood up. No, um, no, no. And no. just where I was sitting, there was a, a, no! a suffocated, no! Uh, a suffocated mouse under no! my ass. I don't know if it crawled there. <laughs> I'm, I don't know I, I what happened. I promise I don't you know that how... mouse did not crawl under you to die. <laughs> I guarantee with... this is what Elias did. Wait, so when, how long was Speedy mouse. missing? How long was Speedy this missing? Was, I don't we... know. I, this was so long ago. <laughs> I was Elias a young did. little this boy. Is, like, this is exactly what he did. The mouse is he's playing with his mouse. His mouse does something funny. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> and in, as he stands up and jumps up and down. The was his name was really Speedy? <laughs> Mouse, ironic, wasn't mouse. it? Mouse. And then speed. Uh, uh, the true art form is like. <laughs> anyway. So then what happened? Uh, we had a funeral for it. Um, <laughs> Where the other mouse? Did the other mouse die? Mouse was heartbreak? fine. No, he was fine. He was he was loving life. Just because the fun. parents confiscated it from him. <laughs> Until yeah. you learn to sit down, you were <laughs> not allowed <laughs> mice. Uh, <laughs> another same mouse related story. Um, we didn't realize that one of the mice that we had were female. Oh, um, they had babies. And me and my brother were playing uh, on the PlayStation. We're playing that fucking leopard game. I don't know if I can remember what it was called. Anyway, um, it was like some weird thing. It might have been, Such um, an important detail. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're just like, we're, we're playing PlayStation. And then my, I'm like, what, what? I can hear like a squeaking noise. What the fuck is that? And then it was like coming from Not like them. under the couch. And then... <laughs> I was like, I think it's under the couch. And so I get my brother to lift up the couch and I go under. All the babies. And I find like a little baby mouse. And I was like, oh, what the hell? Like, we don't have any baby mice here. <laughs> and so I, we like put, I put it in the cage. It got uh, eaten, didn't it? And then <laughs> the, one, of, one of the like adult mice grabs it by the neck, takes it underneath, like, uh, like underneath and to this tray. We open the tray and there was probably about 40 yeah, mice just in do. rows just from like like baby mice that are just like they're just fucking bred. Um, well, no, they're do. mice. They're not bred. Yeah. I, I do love the they idea do, that you had. Where's these mice going to scratch your ass <laughs> hundreds of babies are falling? Oh, that's weird. Chucks them <laughs> in the cage. <laughs> Damn. What did you do with the babies? Uh, Sat on them. <laughs> Sat on them one by the one. Big go squash. Nah, um, I think we... Put yeah, some of them away to like the pet you shop. You chucked him in the bin. Yeah, we gave him to the pet shop. I used, to, pet shop and I used like... to have a bunch of guinea pigs. I used to sell them to the pet shop. I made yeah. a lot. Did you really? Yeah. Did you make a lot of money? So much. How much did you sell them for? $3 a pig. <laughs> You're in the <laughs> guinea pig pet, game, Because there's dude. a lot of pigs, hey. Hey? There's quite a few pigs like when they breed. Oh, no, it's only like four or so. But like so you made 12, I had. That's shit. But I had a lot. And one of my guinea pigs got hate crimed. Because you used to have to keep them apart so they just didn't get knocked up all the time. And then, because you know, guinea pigs, if you push oh, on their tummies, little Willis's crime. came yeah, out. Yeah, to sit check. What the so fuck? I was like, I oh, look, this is a boy's know. one. And you pu push it and a little Willis comes out. And then I was like, like but me. see, it doesn't happen to the girls. And I picked up this one guinea pig and I pushed, but a Willis came out. And it had been in the girl oh guinea pig God, cage this, forever. This dude so was I getting put, mad, push. No, he wasn't. They, he was a gay guinea pig, and then I put him into <laughs> no, I'm a gay guinea pig. Yeah, guinea and then pig. I put him into the boy cage, and the next morning he was dead. He uh, got hate crimes. Like they attacked him. They had they attacked oh him. They killed God. him. They, no they way. They hundred percent did. He was gay. It was he was gay. They actually killed he, him. He lived in the female guinea pig cage for six months, ever since seven months, and she didn't get pregnant. I didn't even fucking know that. Like that guinea pigs had that in them to kill each other. They, they're fucking brutal. Was that the only time that you've ever seen that? Like, did you ever see guinea pigs fight and shit? Uh, yeah, they fight. Did and they then, really? Yeah. And then, like, um, also we used to have a dog from across the road who would break in and bark at them and then someone would die because from they From shock, yeah. yeah. I, one fell out of our cage, ran around the backyard, and the neighbor kids were like, we found your guinea pig, and it <gasps> died simply from falling out and running around. I reckon they went. No, guinea or pigs. They, it was a lie. So oh. guinea they pig, get scared. No, guinea pigs were... <laughs> <laughs> we are, guinea, guinea pigs don't. Um, so just so you know, guinea pigs have do not survive in the wild. They are incapable of surviving in the wild. Dude, they are so fucking out. useless. It's so they're fucking crazy. We my sister had guinea pigs. Um, had when we? <laughs> yeah, I mean we don't have them anymore. Why? I don't know. Didn't Sounds have enough. Like um, just like like we had like a little guinea pig cage that yeah. you know you could like move around so like yeah, yeah. the grass and stuff. 
Um, mm. And one day we hear the fucking guinea pig going wild and we're like, what the fuck is that? We run outside. There's a snake that's been <gasps> like, it's gone half through the cage and it's like eating this guinea pig, but it's been, it's gotten stuck in the cage. So like oh. the guinea pig's gone like, freaking the fuck out and the snakes I caught. So we call like the animal handler guy on just the kill the snake. It was like a Python? It, it, yeah, it was like, it was like, it, was like situation. it wasn't like a, it wasn't that poisonous snake. It, I think it, it may have been like a I'd fuck you like rid a of tree snake or something. I, I don't fuck off. Know. Don't touch but my shit. Anyway, we call him because he loves snakes as well and we're like, oh we want it, mm. everything to be fine. He gets <laughs> there, we get the snake out, the guinea pig out. As soon as the guinea pig gets dropped by the snake, it's just just chill. fucking chill, just like just eating and didn't grass live? again. Didn't die. Didn't die. It was just fine. It was just, but it was just like like die. nothing fucking happened. Ass. Probably. I think we gave him away actually. Guinea Probably. pigs. So, so uh, the only, I would fucking everywhere. love guinea pigs though if I had a lawn. Like imagine having a lawn where you just have like an open hutch and you just because they mow the grass. You can get. Oh, you know, let them run did you see that the footage? Did you they see don't, that footage not. of that little girl Birds. and she had guinea pigs and she used to have a little patch of lawn. Mm. She'd let them go free range and she was putting them back in. And a snake oh. grabbed one and she freaked out. Little girl grabbed the, the snake, snake and threw it. And was it. like, yeah. yeah. Like she's, lassoing she's the snake around the joint. Them, right? She screams and grabs it and like just starts. Her, just her instinct. And the guinea pig just starts survived. screaming and th- just gets the snake and is like, and then holds it and she's like, ah, and just throws it away. Yeah. Is it true that you like go backwards if, and snatch if, you, if you grab the momentum a snake would by the tail and you like whip it like a, like a yeah, whip? Yeah, of course it breaks the neck. neck. Um, that's awesome. I just never want that opportunity. I fucking hate snakes. Snakes suck. So bad. But like you can have guinea. I've seen people with like farms where their lawn out the front, they just let guinea pigs run around. They don't, they don't like. It's Minecraft. The reason it's not a problem is because they breed a lot. You let them breed as much as they want. They they're, they're, they're like, you know, they get decent size. But then so they'll be all incesty. That's well, why I get, had to keep them separate if they so get, I knew who was fucking who. Well, if they get picked off, it's not really a big deal and they don't think enough <gasps> do it. And also they're. What, what if the, you mow the lawn, you don't get them all and you're mowing the lawn. <laughs> Well, you don't. The guinea don't pig mows the lawn, lawn dude. They're had, not um, going to eat the whole lawn. That's they what they do. They, they won't. They, they do. Eat a lot that's of lawn. what they do. If you let they them won't. in the lawn, they'll eat it. People use that. They use goats at the moment in Australia for certain Just places. Just fucking buy a lawn. Ooh, mower. I don't, don't get it. Yeah. Well, the vegetation. Sometimes the veg. Like I remember, it was like there's a thing Brambles. where they just drop. They drop goats <laughs> in like a area that's overgrown instead of weeding. Oh, it. Oh, with all the thistles. Yeah, they just drop them in and be like, have fun, and then they come back in the night of the next day and it's just done. Was that um thingo's farm? Um, yeah, that's yeah. They yeah. Have, Clarkson's farm. Clarkson's farm. Yeah, they have tons farm of brambles. Yeah. I, want to, I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see. it. I really like you it. Should it's watch great. it. Dude. It's got mice in it. Wait, we used to. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, we used to have. Is Bantam. this another R story? No, 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 no. no. I was just talking about that. <laughs> Bantam <laughs> chooks. We so had ban- we had bantam chooks on the island as well, and they'd just like run around. Ones? Danny yeah, Bantam, like just a, a fluffy thing. ghost chicken. Yeah. And they the ones with the. But they're like a little bit small, and they're like pretty fast, and they just like run around and stuff. But. They started disappearing um, no. every now and again, and we're like, "What the fuck?" Do we, we need just to give you a standing like, desk? Yeah, check on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the and then, like, there'd just be like clouds of feathers, like, you know, just, like oh, that's like a cat or something. Or something right? Disappeared. One day, we hear like a bit of commotion. We go outside, and there's a fucking eagle. Yeah, that's like come down, and it's just been like taking the fucking mm. bantam chooks. And my like the dog, our dog Dash, just like fucking charged at it and saved the chicken because it was like oh. fucking get off that shit. I'm scared of that my eagle would have killed that. Yeah. Chi- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm scared of like leaving Smidge on the balcony by herself because of a. Oh, mm, for a, sure. A yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. you wouldn't be worried in your balcony because it's all they they look up. They they're completely top down, so they only yeah. see We're top close down. Close to the water though. No, nah, so you wouldn't see like, eagles. Oh, wouldn't, I've seen well, some big ones. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't be worried there. I'd be worried here. Falcons. Like, remember the fucking hawk that yeah. just came and took that plover baby the other day? Like a falcon or some shit? Like, did, yeah. it so did it more than dude. once. Did it more than once. It's done it more than once. I've seen fucking it do it. Oh, twice. we had a little bird's nest, like, but it was like those, those noisy miners. Indian miners, yeah. yeah, I hate them. But it was like just above our thing. Um, and there was a possum in there the other day and I was like, oh, what's that guy doing here? And all the birds are swooping <laughs> him and stuff. I'm like, leave that possum alone. Little did I know the next day, possum gone, all the babies are splat out of the nest and they're on our driveway. So Legend. the possum had just like just booted them out. Good, and that's why, and that's <laughs> and why all the birds were going and him. Massively invasive. I know, and but like the babies. Watch, yeah, and but then if you I watch, was walking miners, to the yeah. car and I screamed. I always cause a scene the, in the our miners, front of our house. The, the miners are those Indian miners are uh, really good parents. So they are actually really good at raising their young, which is why they're such a problem. And they're also really aggressive. Mm. So anytime yeah. you see native birds through here now. 
I've had kookaburras oh, and everything. I know to they here, go the kookaburras. These fucking we have ugly so little many. Indian miners telling fuck off. Force, force other yeah. But yeah. at the same time, the that stopped the plover from nesting in our street. So I'm kind of happy about that. You should leave, let the plover nest in. Your Are you street. kidding? Sick. They plovers will. Cool, they dude. will attack fuck me they and attack. attack you. They do attack you. They swoop you. They won't hit you. They get they, you with. It's more their claw that's the problem. They won't They attack you if you're like if you give off like shit vibes and like kind of like bird vibes. Bad vibe. Well, Plovers are vibe based I'm a birds. Stage five, bad just so, vibe. just so you know, American <laughs> listeners or Indian listeners, I don't know what the it's like there with birds here. Our bi- like you, the biggest fear for a lot of people is magpies because they will fucking mm. they during breeding season they will attack you and attack you and like hit hurt you like come after you from like oh, yeah. crack your skull open make you bleed go for an take eye. I got got as a take child. Take your wallet. I never I've never been hit by by. Touch they're wood. vibe based. I've been, I've been, I hurt myself more based. from falling than I did from a bird. Blood by a magpie before. Yeah, no. hit the fuck in the back. In my head. Yeah. When yeah, I lived, same. when I lived next to my school, I there were plovers on the oval, as every high school yeah, does, yeah. and we would I would walk through them, and it was always frightening because we'd all walk, and it would get to a point where you'd have a we'd break down the four of us or five of us walking home. Okay, don't whatever you do, do not run, swooped. do not fucking run. If you run, if you run, they'll get you, and they get aggressive when they run. Do not run. Whatever you do, don't run. And then you, it's four or five. 15 year olds walking in a line being like be cool be cool everything's be cool. fine and then you hear that because they, they start they go like this at the start they go and as you get closer they get it and then, it's and like then, predator and then when, they, when they're fucking ready to go you it goes from to and you just and the moment I heard like they didn't do that yet I just heard like one and I went fuck it and I started sprinting <laughs> I started sprinting and I was running and so the plovers freaked out and they all start going for everyone behind me Two other guys start, they're like, oh, fuck this, running. There's one dude left and you hear, you fucking assholes!" <laughs> and it's this dude walking and we're all watching him and he's walking across and the plovers are just uh, like hitting him. Yeah, they're <laughs> it's him walking, Just walking straight, trying to remain calm, going, ah! Didn't hit. Didn't get nicked though. Yeah, nice. It's, they, it's more their feet they go for you. What? And they claw you. They claw you. They, they have hooks in yeah, their hooks wings. hooks in their wings. Oh, great. I know a lot of things. Um, Audience, do you like uh, the chatty ones where we're sitting and we chatty? Because we do other ones that are a bit more planned, but these ones are good to fill in. If you'd rather just the planned, planned ones, though. Did you just say this whole thing through a burp? The hiccup. If you'd rather, <laughs> if you'd rather uh, more planned ones where it's like the boys only and it's very improv joke heavy, which are easier for us to do, I find, because they're performance based, let us know because then we can organize that. But these are really fun and I like them. What? Spe- the spe- boys one. You're, a You're boy. in it. I'm talking about the one where you play yeah, Trey. Boys, yeah. I do not play Trey, but I've heard of him. Yeah, uh, cool. he's a pretty cool yeah. guy. He's pretty cool. I'd touch he's it. I did not like Trey one bit. He was pissing me off. Bad vibe. He has bad vibe. Big I bet you get swooped by magpies. Energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. He gets swooped by you know, he magpies. He, he has no he, pecs. He, doesn't pass the vibe. he mustn't do chest. He has no pecs. Yeah, oh, no. he had <laughs> massive chest. Like, really big chest. It's funny. He has big blank energy, but it was big clit energy, is what I was getting the vibe of. What is a big dick but a big clit? It's actually, it's actually not that. Yeah. Don't just say touche. Don't just say touche. You're allowed touché. to say whatever. No, you don't understand. When someone disagrees with you, you don't just have to say, you don't just say touche. Ah, so this is You're what Trey was talking opinion. about with the curly one. You're allowed to have an opinion. Mm. Trey said touché. some stuff about that. What did he say about the big tall one? Don't say touche. The big tall one, he said, he said, he, said, he, said he, he, could, he could hang. Tall one he could hang. Me. No, the tall one scares me. A woman. A when, woman we were on, when we were uh, on the music video set, Mm. And with him, with, with the him, minor, and we were with the minor that he was flirting oh, with, bro. and we were watching, we were <laughs> watching off me. off screen. I was with the crew, and I was laughing at you specifically. It wasn't a funny scene. I think you're funny, and I'm like, I was a little fucking stoned, and I was just sitting there giggling. And then the crew next to me, like this girl, she was lovely. She goes, "Man, he's so silly." He's just so silly to watch and without Pepper starts <laughs> laughing at him as well, just him trying to act. And I was like <laughs> crying that someone was with me going, yeah, he's pretty goofy. Because like you did, who, you did. Who was that? Uh, the, Name the names. The second AD. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Beck, I think her name was. Yeah. She was lovely. But yeah, it was really fun. At the place that I'm living now, there's a lot of magpies that just like come and chill in the backyard and like one of them is super friendly and I like, he'll jump up on my arm. So you're safe now. And I can feed him and stuff and all that. They won't get you. He's Uh, great. I've got video of this as well. Can can you do me a favor and plan, schedule a trip for us to go let that magpie know that he can't get too close to Eliza or he'll get crushed? Oh, because of the... Because of the crushing. The crushing. Bro, I reckon if you, I reckon knowing you, you, if you saw a baby magpie in a nest and it was safe, I reckon... 
you knowing you when no one's around, you'd throw a rock at the nest. And when the magpie <laughs> falls on the ground, the baby, you go, oh, oh, it's been abandoned. And then you would raise that thing as a pet and you would be like, you, a crow. You would Maybe fucking, not a magpie. No, no, I would, would, I would, would not. kill I, for a magpie. I would not. You'd kill? You'd kill a mummy kill. magpie for a baby. Magpie. I would what not. about if there was you a mother Bruce magpie? You would Bruce Wayne that baby? Yeah, he'd Bruce Wayne it. I wouldn't Bruce, you'd Bruce Wayne it. No, I wouldn't. I would definitely would not. What if there's a mother magpie? Yeah. And, and she drinks and smokes. And there's a baby in the nest. <laughs> and then it's been three days and the mother hasn't come back. And then you're just driving She's the road out there and living you her see best a life. dead magpie that might be the same. Yeah, yeah. Would you, you have get enough the context? If, like, more context and I know that the baby... What are you going to ask? What, if, like what if you see the mum come home and the mum's clearly been drinking. on the slots she's and she's vaping. drinking and smoking? I'm taking that baby in. Yeah. That baby. You're just like your father! I'm taking that baby in and yeah. I, am, I am helping that baby out. I'm raising him right. You're not going to put him on the couch again, are you? Yes. I mean, no. I reckon I really want to do a video where we all have clones that are the opposites of us and your clones are mega genius. And then the, the where, clones want to take... What would my opposite be? What? Really nice. fun and really nice. Are you um, trying to say I'm not a genius? Yeah. Are and, you trying and to and say And the whole I'm joke is that rude. the genius has to kill him or like outsmart him and goes locks himself into a room with him to like torture him. And then he, the genius comes out screaming and Just crying because <laughs> the, that version of Elias could, couldn't handle it. I love the idea that you didn't know you did that. You're like, what? I, didn't I just had a nice conversation with him. What did you talk about? Lord of the Rings? Lord, um, Lord of the Rings and <laughs> minis and stuff? Yeah. Do you talk to... Yeah, about, also my ass. Do huh? you talk about minis a lot with your girlfriend? Yeah. Is like she a like, lot? Does she, she do, loves now, that. Out, does she do this? Does she go, wow, that's fucking awesome. I want to get into it. Does she do this? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I'd get into it. Which one is it? Kind of a mix between yeah, the okay, two. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's 50-50. Yeah. yeah. yeah does she good. ever start talking about things like, oh, I really like flowers? And you're like, yeah. In the Lord of the Rings ma- mini strategy game, there's flower fields. They, you can get flower pots with gaffer game. Oh. Would you get a Lord of the Rings stuff? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. What would yeah. you get? Um, what about you get uh, the, I, would, I was the, thinking of getting the text, potentially, no, I was going to th- say the, um, the text the of the ring ship. around your anus. That is good. Yeah. I like that. Maybe around my Owie. Owie Oh, wee wee. That I'm would hurt your bottle. The, Not if it's on the butthole skin, but just past the butthole skin. Adjacent. It would still. It would, butthole is, skin is adjacent. Is butthole skin just lip skin? I well, feel it organ. would be. Oh. Isn't it? Isn't it like the attachment Inside. to your fucking colon? No. No, it's like no. skin, dude. No? It's like skin. Are you saying it's like if you put a balloon around a straw? Well, it's like the beginning of hmm? your fucking colon. No. I don't have a fucking colon. Because that's what uh, I when just it have goes a... inside out. When but you what shit is this then? Is this the inside of our mouth? Yeah. 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 But but then when you come out, this is... this is. Well, it's because you have a head. Your throat doesn't start here. But your colon starts like right there. Taint. Because people get hemorrhoids. You get the hemorrhoids mm. and that's just and instantly they, out the bottle. What did you do where you shit your ass and it like pulls out? Prolapse. 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 So you, you prolapse? prolapse? And you uh, eat up, put it back home with chopsticks. Why use chopsticks? Because <laughs> it's fun. You, it's like a game. It's like, it's like noodles. Like has for real? You, you no. ever have like the, the, like the uh, thick noodles and stuff and you like try and I would like to eat more thick stuff? noodles. Stop talking about this. Yeah, I'm like, I'm hungry. Dude, you know, uh, we got like in trouble. Worm. We're getting in trouble now because apparently we're too gross out. We're getting in trouble by fans. The people are saying we're using yeah, too fair. much vulgar, I'll be the voice gross too. out. It's yucky. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Like what? Give us an example. Like putting in a prolapse with chopsticks. That's not a fucking joke. That's just him. That's yeah, why he's so, so basically That's you're just the problem. But it's right, right? Like, <laughs> it's they're like, my you guys are, life, you guys are sitting there. I can't, I can't use anything. I don't want to use my hands and get yeah, like all dirty. dirty and stuff. <laughs> so I'll use chopsticks <laughs> so I can get extra yeah. reach. Do you, and when I can you crack them, do you do this? So yeah, you get yeah. splinter? Don't get splinter, yeah, yeah. And it's not gay because you're not touching your asshole. Yeah, exactly. Which is But do you know what is kind of gay? Sucking your own dick. No, that's pretty straight. No, it's just no, masturbation. It's, so gay. Gay. it's fucking gay, dude. You're sucking a dick. Now, moving on from sexual stuff, because we didn't criticize that. <laughs> Our old content used to be witty. The old writers and the old cast and crew were way better. Oh, Ooh, wait, I I'm the old fucking one. writer and I'm the new one. <laughs> it's been the same. Yeah, also, did that hurt your feeling? No, we've had that. This is the whole thing. We've had I Miss the Old Cracker Milk straight from the Go Cracker Milk for like six or seven years. We've had it since there's been any change in cast. We've had that comment it have like and it's funny though when i see i miss the new crack milk my yeah i miss it too oh, my favorite crack- my favorite comment though is always this is your best in like a long time where they but that's become a that's where become a, a where thing. a video is like, good uh-huh. like a video is good and they like it but they still can't help themselves and be like the old crack milk was better and it's always the same 
I get that comment on every fucking video we make. There's always someone saying that. We're not living but is in that the fucking past anymore, Is that like man. a lull? No, I think I think it's just people are very like entitled to free content. It's like whenever we say, "Hey, there's a bonus video on our Patreon," people are like, "Stop shilling! You're shilling!" And I'm like, "This is like this is the alternative to never getting free content." Is but also we can't, make it we can't, say, "Hey, we need to advertise the other stuff we do. You need to go this way." But also, we can't actually put that stuff on <clears> YouTube. <throat> We can't give that we can't to them. Too that naughty. Civil War one we can't put on YouTube. That's fucked. It just get taken down. It's so. funny though. It's very funny. It's very funny. Um, but anyway, it's funny. I like the baby one we did this week. Oh, oh well, that's gonna go out. I'm thinking we'll put that out. She dark today or Saturday? Maybe Saturday. Yeah. I feel like when I watch Asmongold, I go, Elias lives like that. No. No. He doesn't. No. He doesn't. But he's in it. I remember when you sort of did. But you did like Asmongold. No, I did not. He never lived like, like that. No, I, like there were some dude. moments, I won't bring him up, but there were some moments where I was like, damn. Well, no, you got to bring him up. Ah, but no, no, don't okay. shame him. We're, we're, I'm not shaming right. him, we're, we're, but shit. the wall, no, no, no. recycling wall is fuck insane. Fuck Elias, right? Don't bully, Elias doesn't get bullied. But, dude, wait, I'm just, just saying. bringing that, up that you had shit up the wall. Okay. I didn't have shit up the wall. Like poo? No, he had just... <laughs> <laughs> that was the recycling wall. I don't, I, I'm happy yeah, to make fun, look, look, I'm happy to make fun of your past, but only yeah. within the context that it's funny. I'm never going to bring things up as if they're sad. Like if you it stand was not Asmund God level though. No, dude, like dude, dude, dude. No, but I've never met anyone Asmund God level ever. Yeah, neither. What is happening? <laughs> so there's a guy, a very, very famous streamer okay. on on Twitch, very famous, and. He is a gazillionaire and still to this day lives like a hoarder. His room is full of shit. He doesn't take his is dishes out. Is it part out. of his shtick? No, it's, no, it's just who he's always bad been. And the whole point health. is someone saw a wall and they're like, what's with the red streaks on the wall? And he said, oh, my gums bleed. So when my gums... pulling out teeth. He would pull out teeth and rub his gums, they'd bleed, and he'd wipe the blood on his own wall. What? And then he said... His room's so disgusting yeah. that he says he's got to, he said, I have to deal with the rat problem in my room. He has a dead rat in his room. No. And what he would do, exist. this is real. It's and got he's got a dead, clock. he's got a rat alarm clock. So what would happen is there's a dead rat that smelt, but would smell incredibly bad the same time every morning because the sun would hit it at like 7 a.m. So he this literally, is not true. this is true. No, and he, he was so, because no, someone the, would do something about The smell about it, is that's... so unbearable. No. So unbearable, he gets up and he goes, see? Life hack. It's, it's a joke. I'm I not. Love it. It has I, to I be a swear joke. to God. There is no way. <laughs> well, there's all those Damn, stories where I, he's like, he's got to be real. careful with the roaches but climbing the, up the his gum, ass and shit. The bleeding well, gum wall. Yeah, it's real. I promise it. You can ask yeah, him. Yeah, it it's real. A pretty rough time. That sounds like someone but, should. Bro, call. he's still that way. <laughs> he's no. He's actually. He's, is he alive? he's changing, changing his his life around and stuff. He's no, he's not. New stuff. No, he fucking is. And I saw a fucking video of him. He's in the same shithole hoarder house. He's got millions of dollars and he doesn't want to clean up. He does. Want to clean up or does, is cleaning yeah. up? I feel like he I watch why, why, why do I have a fucking... Do you work for him? Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't want to rip I, in... Are you, are you're not... You were never as mono gold level, ever. No, I was... Ever. Just talking about the recycling wall, which is very Asmund gold esque It was a recycling corner. Taking pride of the corner. Yeah, with recycling. So that was recycling. I wasn't just But you were proud of it. Shit. The thing I well, loved yeah, was that. He had a, fucking recycling so wall he had, sick. He had a granny flat and there was a sink in the corner. It was like a laundry <laughs> sink. And um, he didn't use a recycling bin. And it's so facto, he used the sink as a recycling bin, which would be fine if it was used as a bin and not a storage facility for recycling plants. And literally- I didn't have anything to take it out with. <laughs> <laughs> so really got, difficult. It got, it got to a point where I walked in and we were like, you got to clean your room. And I looked in the corner and we it was like, we'd see it every day, but one day just- At least he's still recycling. And I was like, what the fuck is but that? But sometimes Dude, you'd see was, ants and you'd be like, there, it, was, bad. Yeah, it was full of ants. <laughs> so they have a bucket full of recycling. You look at these thick black- Black ants, and he'd go, fucking ants, and then he'd walk away. You just leave them in there, dude. They're doing their thing. They're not harming me. I'm not harming them. I did unless they don't get too close to my seat, then I'll fucking. My my <laughs> favorite. One out. My favorite <laughs> is I got him like a white elephant gift, like for Secret Santa, and it was a thousand worms in a in a bag. And he went, thanks, dude. That's funny. All he had to do was open it and tip him out in the garden and he puts them on his shelf and for six months... Like living worms. For six months, these worms just sat on a shelf. What do you... And they lived? <laughs> yep. Yeah. We just threw them out later and they lived and it was fine. Oh, really? Mm. The ecosystem was fine. It was fine, yeah. 
Nick no, did, they yeah. fucking died, dude. They died straight away. They were suffocated. He went, oh, cool, and just never moved them. It was it was sad. It was, I was How like, long was it till you realised? How long was it till you realised? What do you, you mean till he fucking realised? He just put them up there and never acknowledged them again. Yeah, but that's, like, did he go, oh, and then he's like, I'll do that later, and then just, like, live your Pretty life, much, yeah. and then, like, one day be like, <gasps> the worms. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, they're probably dead. Actually, it was me. <laughs> I then, said, oh, you were that calm about it, like, oh, the worms, they're probably like, dead. <gasps> Oh, it's been a while. They're probably dead. So they I'll leave them there for a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you guys no. lived in that area, that was like yeah, a cartoon. A cartoon. Oh, like, man. I think of when your cupboard of food looked like in um, apocalypse movies, where they like they're it's torn apart, food. like a nuke's gone <laughs> yeah. off. And it's, it's pulled apart. Like it's like a white uh, bookshelf. Oh. We were like, just came. we were just young and lazy and dead shits. Like yeah, we, we, there was all. three days where we were just we, we played got, we played we got Pokemon. High as fucking played Pokemon Arceus. Yeah. Wow. It was three days straight. Yeah, I was, was going through wild. a very rough breakup at the time. Are, yeah. Yeah, right. It was so fun, though. Yeah, it was amazing. But um, we now only work together because living together clearly uh, creates You guys a enable each other. Lazy bond. Mm. Actually, I was fucking clean as, thank you. And so was I. Thank you. Yeah, the worms, no. the worms were in the bag. The worms were in the bag. They went out of the bag. They were in the bag. My favourite thing was the finding this knick-knack box with glass and you're like, oh, minis. And then it the next day the floor. I'm setting up the stream and it's just on the floor and I never saw it. <laughs> it stayed on the floor. He bought this cabinet. It was beautiful. It was, like, I'm going to fill this so with minis. Ornate. I'm going to do this and this and this and hang it up. And he put it on his floor that when he got it at home and it, I'm not I, kidding. I don't think it ever he, moved. No, it did move to a bean bag. It did move oh, to the beanbag. I, um, I love the, then, I love then, the, the now, curtain story. But then I, then I, then I, <laughs> when I, then I set it up and it did house minis and it's set up now and it's holding trophies and stuff as well. That's cool. Place, so. Look, I oh, want to brag I only, you <laughs> I only like talking about our past and making fun of you if it's funny for the audience. So mm -hmm. if you're listening to this and it sounds cringe, we'll stop. If you like the jokes, we'll continue. Well, were you, you were going to bring up something else, weren't you, just then? No. No. So was, were you about to bring up something? I mean, when we moved in, we have a regular size yard and he's like, I'm so keen to do all these things with the yard. And I went, oh, cool, dude. Like, whatever. He's like, yeah, I want to do an archery range. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, that's fine. He's like, yeah, I might even do a forge. I went, what? He's like, like a forge, like a smithing oh, forge. Oh, man, that was he a was, different time. He was bringing that up. Like he was going to fucking, like setting up a fucking hammock in the backyard. He was going to build a <laughs> smithing forge out the back. Kiln. And then I said, well, how are you going to do that? He's like, I, and I went, that's hilarious. Shut up. And he, you were genuinely like, I'm not joking. I'm serious. It's be simple. We could do it. If I, I, had, su if I had support. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We could do it. And I can imagine kind of being like, get back. Yeah, get absolutely fucked. Be cool. Make a brick kiln. Once you know. <laughs> Tam, I want to talk about some things with you, okay? Go forth, sir. Obviously, there's a lot of discussion about things like like female workers working in a male-oriented environment. Right. The wage gap and stuff. And such. And I want to, I want to ad admit something to you, which is that I am a feminist and I do firmly believe the wage gap exists. Yeah. Okay. But where's well, the but? Sorry. You're a chick. Yeah. So there was no to, hiding that. Yeah, but I mean, like, you just got to. You were not going to get as paid as a man. Mm -mm. As paid as a man. No, you will not get as much because In because, drag? Of, because I I believe the wage gap exists, Tam. I do believe it exists, and I believe yeah. it's unfair. 100%. Well, for you, and that's a smart it. that's yeah. a smart yeah. choice to employ a female. And, and like, I'm going to enforce it. <laughs> well, I mean, society. It, it, does, I have so why to. not? It's out of my hands. It's exactly. out of my yeah, head. I, believe it. It. I understand. So you'll earn slightly less than me. Yeah. Um, and whenever you bring it up, I'll say it's because you were pregnant and shit. And I'll be honest. Well, if anything, at least you don't have to pay for like maternity leave because I've gone done, done that. Yeah, I'll be and honest I'm done with you. Now. I don't have a real opinion on the gender wage gap. So I'm just going to say I'm going to pay you like 50%. No, it's at least 70. Oh, okay, you're at least 70%. Well, what is it? It doesn't sound so bad. What's with I think, I think she's least. bargaining. Yeah. So okay, you can, you can yeah. counter offer, counter offer. Okay, crack a milk gender wage gap, yeah, fifty percent. Okay, cool. And um, I'm gonna bring Emily in to talk. Okay, on this. put the dog out. Go away. Go away. She's just stretching, big stretch. Go stretching. away. Come big here, stretch. Come on. Fucking women in the workplace. Women in the workplace. Bat. Um, just a couple of bitches doing okay. thing. A couple of bitches doing She gets doing paid more than you, by the way. She does get paid more than you. Are you paid, she, Smidgen? Yeah, she yeah she's paid. She's an actress. She's an actress. She's not. She's not. A dog. That's she's a dog. Like, I guess she wouldn't though. be here that's, if she wasn't being paid. You know, am that's I right? Warwick Davis is in <laughs> her. That's Warwick Davis puppeteering. <laughs> he holds the head. The she's got to be careful though, because like 
if I take my eyes off her and I'm like, getting, oh, you could sit. I could. She sit. wants to sit on me so her. bad. I can see it. She's fucking annoying me. No, she picked Elias because no, at least no, she can keep. She'll, she'll literally. She'll want to sit she on. She can me. keep tabs on where his ass is if she's on him. Mm, yeah, true. and she's perfect smothering size too. Oh, right up that crack. Right up that crack. Your dog is like a little toddler. This fucking Italian greyhound is like a toddler. Like Chuck's tantrums when it doesn't get its way. Mm-hmm. God damn. She's Still so prefer cute. that she's kind so of a tantrum. Cute. Then to what? Yeah, a real you're life so toddler. Cute, Ooh, don't have kids then. Yeah, don't. You've already done it. You don't know that. I, I haven't seen. Maybe it. it's the biggest ruse of all time. Mm. And I'm like, psych. You got really fat for nine months. Then I got so <laughs> fat. You know, you know so everyone's like Nick Ocado Avocado he got really obese. Oh yeah, what's the go with made that? Made a bunch of money. Everyone was talking about him because he was like a like a cringe fest, and then lost all the weight. And he went, see, I fucking it was all a fucking game. I was making all this money. It's not real. And I pre it, it is real. hundred percent. No, that but guy's, he didn't decide for. He did. He did it over two years. He pre-recorded. Uh, he pre-recorded everything, and then over two years lost the weight. Yeah, but I I just don't think it's a social experiment. Yeah, I reckon, well, it he is. Went, I reckon he, he went, it'll be funny. Is no, it I think AI? it was more he got I really. I thought it would be AI. F- no, he got really, really big because he yeah. knew that when he was really big, he'd make lots of money. So he got really but big. But he had people on. Made, made a fuckload of money and then said, I'm going to do this as a bit. But he's being way too like, I am the greatest mastermind of all time. Mm. It is really impressive. And I think it's hilarious that the, ret- the retaliation from most YouTubers who have openly criticized him for so long about being problematic is that they do not want to let him have it. They're all like, um, it's not that impressive. Uh, so what? You lost weight. Uh, who cares? What's the bit? Like everyone's calling him out. And I'm like, all you people are doing is you're really jealous that he got you. Like I, he well, fucking got you. You made I've all seen these- a video of him today where he was bigger again. And he's like, I can't believe you guys all believed that. <laughs> oh, that's that hilarious. That would be so funny. That if is he so was, funny. Actually, it was an old video. Yeah, it's definitely. Because he doesn't look like No, he, he does the, he's everyone's lost a talking about it. He but does the. When common, you get really fat. You get the skin. You get he's the got skin. the skin. But he doesn't. He does. He jumped up and arms. down. He's got it all up, down his arms. No, he doesn't. He fucking does. He did this in the video and he didn't have skin. There, That is 100% real the guy look it's, had, it's hard to hear someone go i got you guys when he posted his asshole everywhere that's the only thing that shocks mm. me i'm gonna be honest the only part where i'm like you talk about making all this money he was doing porn and it was like it was like what? grotesque it was like, like cringe porn it was yeah, meant to like, be like yeah. like almost like oh my god i can't believe you're doing porn but he was straight up testing dildos and getting fucked in the ass with them and it's like dude at the end jokes of the, on me well i don't i don't really think that's bad but when he does all this stuff i'm like i think get your that, bag girl i think the <laughs> fundamental part that wasn't ever a play was that you were making money doing porn and nothing that about your weight affected that but the whole idea of watching all these people shitty at him or like critical or almost like brushing what he's done off is like almost like unimpressive or like so what is hilarious because it's the same people that were sitting there watching him with a very obvious sleep apnea machine as he talks about needing needing to use it and they're like he's fuck he's a bad example but they were slamming him Nick Ocado was t- like slammed as if he was a bad person because people didn't like him and now he's turned around and gone actually I was fucking with you I've lost the weight and instead of going yeah whatever like nice people are turning around and trying to like take it away like take that away and it all only comes off as like inherently jealous my question is though those things were true at some point well it depends on the things the, well, sleep, like the, the sleep, sleep that's not true so it's not real no he would wear it in videos being like I have to wear it to breathe and then fuck guess who ex- it, take a guess at the person who had the most lukewarm opinion. This is bad. Yeah, and he made video after video about the Nick Ocado situation being he's clearly okay, a character. Now he's claiming he's never really lost the weight. Really? <laughs> Nick Ocado confuses fans by claiming he never really lost weight. He's throwing viewers for a major loop after uploading a TikTok, hitting out against the stupid fans for believing he actually lost weight. He definitely lost weight. This podcast he's, is going to age bad now. I wonder. However, on, yeah. <laughs> do you think it will ruin, like, let's say he is thin. Do you reckon there will be people who are like, oh, I'm not going to watch this anymore? Purely I think, because they liked the character. I think, of yeah. And I think that's his, his greatest issue is going to be like, how do you now Make content. reinforce it? Like, how do you come back from this? Because his career before that wasn't mukbang content and he won't be doing that forever because it's going to kill him. But like the... It, it is a healthy way to do my bank. Yeah, well, I mean, he, yeah. but even if he shot one of them a week, he would be fine. It's just, it's Wasn't just his calorie whole thing, intake. Like he started as a health guy. Yes, and he was a, he's a nutritionist. He's he's got a degree in nutrition, and he's a violinist, and that's why it's just so. That's why it's impressive, is because back when he was a nutritionist, back before he was fat, he said, "I will get fat and make a fuckload of money because people will watch me when I'm fat." 
and he was right. And that's the whole like crux of what's going on is like there's a clear indication uh, that he was in on it. He's still a fucking weirdo. Like, don't get me wrong. I watched a video of him thin. It was cringe as fuck. He talks like he's come out of like a war that we didn't know was going on, like a secret war. Like, we did it. It's done. The nightmare's over. It's like, dude, you do that to your fucking self. I just think you can have a nuanced opinion about someone like that. And it's easy to judge internet personalities that are well hated before you know them. And the only one I like is World of T-shirts on TikTok. Josh Block. Fuck off! What if he? What if he's a real dude and he's not? Like, I believe he's a real dude. No, but like, as in, he's normal. Oh, and that's a bit. Yeah, and amazing. he doesn't drink a, an a ounce. Fucking amazing, dude. He doesn't uh, drink an ounce of water. Have, oh, I, I, you couldn't I even mean, explain I am this guy. Not familiar with the internet. That's all right. Tam's going, which means we're all going. Uh, thanks for listening to the Crack Milk Podcast, everyone. It was a great app. I um. I had fun. Yeah. I sat on some animals. That poor guy. You're and, um, yeah. Damn, are you all right? What the fuck just happened? Yeah, just we thinking about sitting on animals. I'm thinking we about... We didn't talk about minis for 20 minutes. Should we do it a... It drained his brain. Should we do a mukbang? Yeah. I've, I don't think I've ever watched a mukbang video. Me neither. Why the fuck would I watch people oh. eat? I have seen there's a girl and she has a... She's... Korean. Mm, and she, like, hoffs it down. Yeah, and she goes camping. And she oh. has a little dog. This is the one with that loves the beer? Yeah, and she drinks so much fucking beer, dude. Like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I had a craving. Really cool. The only time I had a craving for beer was in Japan. The beer there was so good. Uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Um, we we'll appreciate see you next it. Time. We'll see you next time. Also, use uh, coupon code CrackMilk uh, at GamerSubs to get 10% Game of off your GamerSubs order. Yeah. GamerSubs. GamerSubs is really good. Um, I got some in here. And use uh, code CrackMilk to get 10% off your GamerSubs order. That's what I just said. Oh. Game yeah. Subs. Also, try a tea. Oh, I sat in the mouse and killed it. Bye. Oh. Recycling Spoilers, corner. Spoilers, dude. Yeah, the porn thing's really hard to get over. <laughs>